For all I've seen and experienced as your governor in this extraordinary year, though, one experience will be indelibly etched in my memory. Her name is Ginger. As I walked around the parking lot of the fire department in Port Monmouth, in one of the days soon after Sandy had laid waste to so much of our state, I saw so many of the scenes that I had come to expect in the aftermath of this storm. Neighbors helping neighbors, food being prepared for the hungry, first responders helping the homeless. And then I met nine-year-old Ginger, having a nine-year-old girl myself. Her height and her manner of speaking was immediately familiar and evocative. Having confronted so many crying and distraught adults, at that point I felt ready to deal with anything. Then Ginger looked at me and she began to cry and she told me she was scared. She told me she had lost everything. She told me she had lost her home and all her belongings and she asked me to help her. Well, as my eyes filled with tears, I took a deep breath. I thought, what would I say to Bridget if she said the same thing to me? If she had the same look in her eyes, if she had the same tears running down her face? So I looked at Ginger and I asked her where her mom was. And she pointed right behind her. And I asked her if her dad was okay. And she told me she was. So I put my hands on Ginger's shoulders and I told her, you haven't lost your home. You just lost a house, a house we can replace. Your home is with your mom and dad. Then I hugged her and I told her not to cry anymore, that the adults are in charge now. There is nothing to be afraid of anymore. Now Ginger's here today. We've kept in touch. She has her own cell phone. And she gave me the number. <laughs> and Ginger, I want to thank you for giving voice to New Jersey's children during Sandy and helping to create a memory of humanity in a sea of despair. You are a special, special little girl. Thank you for coming tonight.